Hey bro, how's business? I uh, not so good leh. How come? I see that you post a lot on social media. Yeah, I got put up a lot. I even learned from some experts on how often and what to post online, right? But no traction eh? You got no inquiries? Yeah, actually I have you know some people engaging on my posts and even got some other people asking but no one buy anything from me eh? Oh, that shouldn't be the case. Well, how about you bro? How's your business? Well, to be honest, not so good too. I, like you, I haven't got a lot of conversion despite all the leads that I'm getting. You also? Don't know what's wrong, huh? Yup, I don't understand why won't our clients buy from us. So, do you face the same issues like them? I mean, you have done good marketing and branding by putting up a lot of content. You get inquiries and you get leads, but somehow you're just not getting any prospects to buy from you. Why? Well, I have several good reasons why this is so. Bro, I want to know why. Me too. Okay guys, welcome to the new series on why won't our clients buy from us. Hey, this is Colin from Learns Marketing. Having been an entrepreneur for my video production business since 2015, right, I've dealt with clients at every stage of their buying journey. Yes, we are talking about the customer's buying journey in this video. But before that, right, let me try to buy a car from this showroom first. Now, I don't claim to be a master salesman, but having closed a few million dollars of deals for my business since, I think I have some experience in sharing what goes behind the way our customers think. At this point, I'm sure you have heard about the customer's buying journey. But how does that relate to them not buying anything from you? Well, it actually has everything to do with it. To understand that, we must first know what are the stages that are comprised in their buying journey. Now, customer's buying journey is the entire buying experience from pre-purchase to post-purchase. It's essentially the journey from the customer's awareness of an existing pinpoint to eventually buying the product or service to alleviate that pain point. In other words, buyers don't simply just wake up one morning and decide to buy something just like that. For my business, I advocate a seven steps client's buying journey model, Esther. But for this video, let me just discuss the more popular model that perhaps you have heard of, AIDA. The four stages are attention, intention, decision, and action. In the attention stage, customers become aware of a problem that they have. That's when they take attention to their pains or pleasure points. Following that, in the intention stage, they start looking for solutions, hence they have an intention to solve their problem. In the decision stage, customers start researching different solutions and then evaluating or deciding which one is best for them. And finally, at the action stage, they take action by purchasing that product or service. Yes, this four-stage process is oversimplified, but it is enough to explain why customers aren't buying from us. The most critical reason is you're targeting them at the wrong stage of their buying journey. Like I mentioned, people don't just wake up one day and buy something. Okay, maybe a few impulse buyers do, but most won't. So if how you're branding yourself is just educating your audience about your product, your industry, or what you do, right? Chances are you're just focusing on their attention stage. In other words, you're just showing them that there's a potential problem that they might have. Maybe then you'll put up more marketing posts to talk about your product or service. So what you're aiming to do is to target them at the decision stage. But what if most of those people who read your posts or watch your marketing videos don't even have a pain point to begin with. So you get my drift. We must have a plan that focuses on all four of the AIDA buying journey. Simply put, you need to do your branding and marketing to cover on your customers' attention, intention, decision, and action stages. That means your posts and ads, if you buy them right, need to be varied enough to cover all four stages. And I don't mean one post or one video to cover all four stages. I mean different posts and different videos to address and target each of the four stages. For example, you put up an educational post about your product to address the attention stage first. 
then a second post to encourage your viewers to form the intention to solve the problem that you have educated on. Subsequently, put up a video to get them to make a decision that your product is actually their best choice. And lastly, another promotional post or video to chase them to take action and buy because there is a limited time offer or something like that. Oh, by the way, you should also devise your four-stage posting or ads plan in the form of a funnel. I won't discuss about this, but if you're interested to know, right, let me know in the comments below so I could put up a video on this maybe in the near future. Nice car, right? Can't afford it yet. So I hope you now know why customers aren't buying from you. It's most likely because you haven't targeted them at the right stage. And even if you did, right, you might not have nurtured them to go from the first stage to the very last. Or maybe it's just like me when they aren't ready to purchase yet. Hey. Well, if you want to learn more about the client's buying journey, such as my seven stage Esther model, which is a lot more detailed, you should consider to sign up for my six figure entrepreneur online course. You not only learn about Esther, but also 70 other aspects of branding, marketing, uh, closing sales and more to become that six-figure entrepreneur that you always aim to be. In any case, subscribe to my channel so that you will not miss out on the next episode, which will be on getting the right clients. Hey, who are you talking to? Uh? We're here, like, yeah, shouldn't you be educating us first? Uh, okay, okay. Let me get to the last part first, alright? Well, be sure to like this video if you find it interesting, okay? I'll see you in the next episode.